And now to Jen Psaki, this is before she was uh, White House press secretary. This is what she said on Twitter. Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinformation, dozens of former Intel officials say. Well, that turns out not to be true. If anything, you, lady, are spreading disinformation. Oh, and look at this. I got what they covered on 60 Minutes last night. Very exciting. They co covered Russia, obviously, high rent across the United States, and uh, something about the WNBA, which I assume three or four years from now will be all men. Uh, so just a lot of nonsense. You guys get it. Uh, but Saki, and as I said, that was before she was press secretary, because that was right before the Biden administration took over. Uh, she now is the press secretary and she, she just lies about everything and she looks soulless like she's uh, just deeply wounded inside. So that is the silver lining to this thing because eventually it does come get you, all the lies. Uh, here she is responding to that very tweet and that excuse about, oh, the intelligence officials said it was, you know, not real. So, you know, okay, good. The president has said, and you have tweeted, that allegations of wrongdoing based on files pulled from Hunter Biden's laptop are Russian disinformation. There is a new book by a political reporter that finds some of the files on there are genuine. Is the White House still going with Russian disinformation? I think it's broadly known and widely known, Peter, that there was a broad range of Russian disinformation back in 2020. Okay. There was a broad range of Russian disinformation. Well, she said specifically that those guys said the Biden laptop was Russian disinformation, but that turns out to be untrue. And, and what are you saying? That the, the election was meddled with? Have you, have you done anything to protect the election since then? I mean, she's just an endless liar. Uh, but it continued at the press conference because the press is starting to get some balls. I don't know where the balls are coming from, but they're starting to grow a pair. And here, uh, the questioner was asking about uh, Biden's conflicts of interest with Russia. Um, on Russia, uh, you told me last year that you were unfamiliar with the Senate report that alleged that the first son or a company linked to the first son received $3.5 million dollars from the richest woman in Russia. Uh, subsequent reporting indicates that President Biden, when he was vice president, had a dinner in Georgetown with the same woman in 2015. Um, this uh, Yelena Batarina, she has not been sanctioned yet by the US government. How is President Biden navigating conflicts of interest when it comes to uh, sanctioning people who have done business with his family? And can you explain to us what this $3.5 million was for? I don't have any confirmation of the accuracy of that report, so I have no more further details. About the conflicts of interest, though, how he's navigating those when deciding sanctions. What would be his conflicts of interest? Uh, well, his son's company allegedly got $3.5 million. He's from which I have no confirmation of, and he has continued to sanction oligarchs more than we've ever sanctioned in the past. So I'm not sure that's a conflict of interest. I stand there. I can't stand there. Uh, did you get what's happening there? So, you know, we're sanctioning these Russian oligarchs. So this is sort of the super rich class that lives in Russia. These are the people you see, they've got yachts. And because they have yachts and they're rich, they must all be evil people. I'm not, I'm certainly not defending people that did anything through corruption, but we are sanctioning all of these Russian oligarchs. But you know what's interesting? You're not going to believe this, guys. The, uh, the journalist was right. This woman that gave $3.5 to one of the companies that uh, Hunter Biden was working for. Her name is Yelena Baturina. And she's a Russian oligarch, but for some reason she's not being targeted by the sanctions. According to, and you're not going to believe it, your brain is going to explode, the New York Post. So I assume we won't be able to say that soon enough and then the New York Times will report on it here. You really get that? Some really super crazy rich Russian woman gave Hunter Biden's company $3.5 million. Why'd she do it? I don't know. Um, but that woman is not being targeted by sanctions, uh, as all the oligarchs are, all the oligarchs are, and they're going after everybody else. Really makes you wonder, 